And we do want to begin on the subject of marriage. Same-sex couples rushing to tie the knot in California. Plenty of wedding bells ringing late into the night on Friday. It all started late Friday after a surprisingly quick decision by a federal appeals court. NBC's Gay Gutierrez is in our Los Angeles bureau to explain why these nuptials caught so many people off guard. Gay, good morning. Erica, good morning. Major celebrations in parts of California overnight. Local officials had been saying that same-sex marriages would resume here within the next month while the legal process dragged on. But the Ninth Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals changed that Friday afternoon faster than expected. Within hours, the four plaintiffs in the U.S. Supreme Court case that overturned Proposition 8, California's same-sex marriage ban, tied the knot. One couple in San Francisco, the other in Los Angeles. On Wednesday, of course, the Supreme Court tossed out an appeal involving Prop 8, but opponents of same-sex marriage thought they had at least 25 days to ask the high court to rehear the case. Turns out that time frame isn't binding on lower courts. Those gay marriage opponents were caught off guard. They're calling this new development dishonorable. Still, a spokesman for the Ninth Circuit Court said the move was unusual, but not unprecedented. San Francisco's mayor says that same-sex couples will be able to marry all weekend in his city, which is hosting its annual gay pride celebration. California is now the 13th state, along with Washington, D.C., to allow same-sex marriage. Now, both sides of this debate are promising to continue the fight in other states, Erica. All right, Gabe, thank you.